हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द पी वाई क्वेश्चन सीरीज टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द लैपलेस इक्वेशन आई विल कवर ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गेट एंड द सी एस आर नेट एग्जामिनेशन रिलेटेड टू द पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल वेर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस लेक्चर्स ऑन दिस पी वाई क्वेश्चन सीरीज द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज वी विल कवर ऑल दोज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द गेट एंड द सी एस आर नेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स ओनली ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ द लैपलेस इक्वेशन However, the last two lectures was on heat equations and the wave equation. We have discussed this question with the help of the fully shortcut tricks. And once you can see, you can solve each question with the help of the fifteen second time period. So you can see these two lectures, which is available at my YouTube channel. Now, in this lecture two, I will explain you the Laplace equations. Like here, you can solve these questions with the help of fifteen second again. so as a usual i can firstly tell you the various shortcut tricks how you can solve the laplace equation any of the equation which satisfy this equation that is equation number 1 is called as the laplace equation what does it means if you draw it graphically this is x is 0 x is a y is 0 and y is equal to b is my solution then how you can write the solution of this always remember what is the shortcut tricks you can always write this solution in terms of one term corresponding to the sine another term corresponding to the hyperbolic if i written this is in terms of the x then sine hyperbolic is in terms of y or if you write sine in terms of y then hyperbolic is in terms of x but how you can write that you can see the first shortcut trick is if i write sine in terms of the y and hyperbolic in terms of the x how you can remember that this is n pi into range of b you can see i can return this is number 0 to 1 similarly from here it is x over a 0 to 1 or you can write here so you can see if i write sin in terms of the x then hyperbolic is in terms of y there is a is my unknown constant how you can find it it's a sin hyperbolic So, if you look about this hyperbolic term, what is the maximum value of the x? X is my a. You can substitute the value of x a here. So, it answer is n pi. If this is the form, then you can substitute the maximum value of y. So, what is the value of y is b. So, what is the answer of again n pi? So, your a will always be sine hyperbolic n pi. But the question arises says which form either this or this you can choose for the particular problem so that will i will tell you this various shortcut tricks the first trick is you can see this fx is my function of x fine this is a function of the x so as i told you you have the two approach one is the a sin term second is the sin hyperbolic term now once this a function of the x is given to you so it must be the form of the sin x and this is in terms of y so how you can write this is a sin of the x nature hyperbolic for the other how you can find the a there are the two methods first method you can use the fourier series or second method i as i told you is a shortcut trick sin hyperbolic this term pick the largest value So then it's a n pi. What is the first Fourier series term? Is you can write as a two over a. This is a Fourier half range series. For example, I will explain you this with the help of counter example. This is my here. Now you can see the solution is given to you as sine three x. Fine. Then what could be your solution of this? So it's a sine. The other term will be my sine hyperbolic. So what could be the hyperbolic? If it is a three x, then it will be my three y divided by sine hyperbolic. So this is the term. What is the maximum value of the y? Is pi. So it's my three pi. Fine. Now once you know, for example, if if I give you another example, say it's a sine of seven x. Fine. Then what could be your solution? Is x comma y is is a sine. 7x, then sine hyperbolic of y. So it's a 7y divided by sine 
हाइएस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई इज माई और इन जर्नल इफ इट इज गिवन टू यू एस ए साइन ऑफ एन एक्स देन वट विल बी योर यू ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई इज इज अ साइन एन एक्स एंड साइन हाइपरबोलिक इफ इट इज एन एक्स देन इट्स अ एन वाई डिवाइडेड बाय साइन हाइपरबोलिक लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई इज माई अगेन पाई सो इट्स एन ऑफ पाई इज माई रिक्वायर्ड शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स फॉर यू Now, once you know this value, then you can easily find the value of u. This value, you can easily find the partial derivative at the point one comma two. You can easily find the partial derivative at zero comma one, or anything you want to require. So this is my required solution. If the initial condition is given to you as say sine x over two, so can you write the solution quickly? Can you write the solution quickly? Yes, you can write. साइन एक्स ओवर टू अदर टर्म इज साइन हाइपरबोलिक वाई ओवर टू डिवाइडेड बाई साइन हाइपरबोलिक वट इज द मैक्स वैल्यू ऑफ द वाई इज पाई इट्स पाई ओवर टू इज माई रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यू सेकेंड केस इज वेन यू हैव द फंक्शन ऑफ वाई गिवन देन वट डज इट मीन्स वन टर्म इज द साइन सेकेंड टर्म इज इन हाइपरबोलिक सो सिंस द फंक्शन ऑफ वाई इज गिवन सो द साइन टर्म इज कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू द वाई n pi y over b and hyperbolic term is x over a you can see since it's a y given so you can write the sign terms correspond to the y and other terms here again there are the two method one is the fourier half range series or you can write it one over sign hyperbolic this is the hyperbolic term largest value of the x is a so if you substitute a will be cancel out it's a n pi is the required For example, here you can see if this is a case, then what will be your solution? So it's a sine of two into y. Then hyperbolic will be two y. Then it's a two x divided by sine hyperbolic. What is the upper value of x is y pi. So it's my required solution of this problem. Now once you know the u, then you can easily find the partial derivative at the value of this. You can find the value of the zero comma pi by two. You can find the value of one comma zero as per the statement required. Third case. Now, in both the cases, you can see the values are given at the some upper value. But if the initial condition is given at the boundary case, then again the same rule. This is the function of the x. So I can take on the sine term corresponding to the x and hyperbolic term corresponding to the y. But the only difference here is. instead of the y you have to written as a b minus 1 and here if it is written in zero corresponding to the y term then y is written in terms of the sine and x is written in the upper now you can scan and join my whatsapp group if you want to find some more shortcut tricks now let's see how you can solve the problem what is given to you you can see the solution is given to you as a sine of y with respect to x so can you write the solution quickly x comma y will be is a sin of y then other term will be sin hyperbolic x divided by sin what is the upper value of y x is pi but there is a one concept you can see this is the partial this is not the u this is the partial derivative with respect to x so instead of this this is my x find the partial derivative of this it is my cos hyperbolic x then the denominator will be cos hyperbolic upper value of the x is my pi if you have uh, this quantity is given to you then you can written as a sin hyperbolic same term but it is a sin of is a partial derivative x then you have to take the partial derivative form then now you get answer now you can find the answer of this what is that is a y this is my y this is my x so sin pi by 2 is my 1 sin hyperbolic x divided by cos hyperbolic pi so what is that it is written in the exponential form so what is that e of x minus e of minus x divided by e of pi e of minus pi over 2 so what is that 
is a pi over 2 cancel is a pi again cancel this is the correct option pi over 2 is a cancel c is the right answer of the problem and you can see within a 10 second you can solve this problem look at some more examples now what is given to you now you can see the solution is given to you as a y is f y so it means your solution is sin in terms of the y hyperbolic in terms of the x look at the option first of all this both are the hyperbolic not correct option what is the sign one is the hyperbolic fine both are my sign this option is cancelled hyperbolic and sign is a fine now i need a hyperbolic in terms of the x and sign in terms of the y it is a hyperbolic in terms of y and sign in terms of the x is a wrong option only a is my left is the right answer and you can see sign in terms of the y hyperbolic in terms of the x is the right answer of the problem again you needed a maximum of the 10 second to solve the problem look at this another one this is a Neumann problem again this is a Laplace equation but you can see the initial conditions are given you in terms of differential equation okay firstly you can write in graphically x is 0 x is pi y is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 fine so this is my graph fine a b c and d now what is the Neumann problem remember whenever you have a differential equation of this and this is my say fx or this is my derivative fine then it admits solution only this is a Neumann criteria this admits solution only when the integration of this fx will be my 0 only on the boundary of the reason fine clear or I will tell you the one another shortcut tricks the solutions on this a b the common point is my a solution of this reason must be is equal to the solution of this reason at the bound at the boundary points so this is my a b I can return in this nature fine so plus of d a it must be equal to b c plus c d. this is the way you can write it in a simple manner now how you can see I can see I can rewrite the diagram for you this is my diagram fine this is the value of y is equal to minus 1 this is the y is equal to 1 this is x is equal to pi I can substitute the values a b c d y is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 this value is my 0 x is equal to pi what is the bc line is x is equal to pi this value is my 0 cd y is equal to 1 this is alpha plus beta of sin x da da means x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 is my 0 so what is the answer of this 0 plus 0 which is equal to this plus this over this integration so that is alpha plus beta of sin x c to d always remember you have to return in this what is the c to d is pi to 0 and this value is my 0 so what is the right answer of this alpha times 0 minus pi minus beta of cos 0 cos 0 1 sin cos pi is minus 1 so what is that 2 beta is equal to minus alpha pi now look at the option which one is the correct option for you alpha 0 beta 1 cancel not satisfied alpha minus 1 is a pi beta is satisfied alpha is equal to 1 then it's a minus pi it is my plus pi not satisfied alpha is equal to 1 beta is minus pi not satisfied right option is only second is the right answer always remember whenever the derivative forms are given to you you can use this concept integration of these two integration of these two should be same Okay, look at this another one again this is a boundary value problem that's a Laplace equation then clearly says both solution are in terms of the sine and sine hyperbolic but he said cos and cos hyperbolic cos hyperbolic cos hyperbolic cancel sine fine but it must be the sine hyperbolic 
so this option is cancelled this is sine and this is sine hyperbolic is the right answer of this problem and also you can see if it is n y then it's a n x same option are there cos hyperbolic can be the solution but it should be in the denominator when you have u x given to you but nothing is given to you in terms of the u x so the right answer is only a is the right answer okay look at this another one u of this is given to you as sin y plus sin of 2x can you write the solution quickly firstly write the solution corresponding to the sin y sin y then other term is sin hyperbolic of x divided by sin hyperbolic what is the upper limit of the x is pi so it's a sin pi plus i can return this for you sin 2y sin hyperbolic 2x divided by sin hyperbolic upper limit is my here now you can get your answers so your your target is to find 1 comma pi over 2 make sure this is the value of the y this is the value of the x so when sin pi by 2 it's a 1 then it is my sin hyperbolic 1 divided by sin hyperbolic pi plus sin of pi is a 0 now you can see sin hyperbolic sin inverse fine he said sin hyperbolic inverse but it's a wrong option then the next option is 1 comma pi over 4 again this is my y this is my x sin pi by 4 root 2 sin hyperbolic 1 sin hyperbolic pi when you substitute pi by 4 is a pi by 2 is a 1 is a sin hyperbolic 2 sin hyperbolic pi so you can see 1 over root pi sin hyperbolic 1 sin hyperbolic pi inverse sin hyperbolic 2 sin hyperbolic 2 pi sorry is a 2 pi 2 pi inverse pi and this is sin 1 hyperbolic is a wrong option correct options are a and c are my correct answers you can see how many second you are needed to solve the problem maximum 15 second you can write the solution directly with the my shortcut tricks i hope you can like my video and share with your friends again next question is again this is the laplace equation and given that u tends to 0 as y tends to infinity u tends to my sin of x when y is equal to 0 now since it is laplace equation so it's a sin of x so other term will be sin hyperbolic y divided by sin hyperbolic upper limit of the y is not given to you so let's say a and b already given to you let's say c where c is the upper limit of the y now look at the options first of all what is the meaning of that sin of here is a sin nx so what is the value of the n from here n must be 1 fine it means if you look about the n1 it means a1 must be 1 and an must be 0 for all n greater than 1 look at the first option can it be possible you can write as a sin x it will be possible only when b n must be 0 fine otherwise you can't possible but he said b n are non zero this option is cancel out here a1 is 1 that's fine because we need a coefficient is the 1 a1 is 1 b an and b n are non zero this is wrong option a1 is 1 an is my zero for all n and b n is my zero you can see what is this term an sin hyperbolic e raised to power n y fine now when a b n is zero now you can open this it's a a1 sin x e raised to power minus y and you can see i can change them to be the e raised to power y is the right option b n is zero for all n so this is zero but a n are my non zero but we need only as a sin x if you take a2 then it will be my sin 2x but we need only as a sin x so this option is also cancel right option is only c is my right answer okay look at this another one u is given to you as sin of 2x fine and this is a laplace equation can you write the solution quickly 
इट शुड बी साइन टू एक्स साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू वाई डिवाइडेड बाय साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू ऑफ पाई बिकॉज मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इज पाई देन द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो वी ऑल नोस वट इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ साइन टू एक्स वन वट इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू वाई इट शुड बी साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू पाई ओवर दिस डोमेन सो द रेशियो शुड बी वन सो वट डज इट मीन्स मैक्सिमम वैल्यू शुड बी वन फाइन सो फर्स्ट आंसर इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन नाउ द मैक्सिम वैल्यू विल बी वन कैन इट बी अचीवेबल यू कैन सी यू इज वन वट डज इट मीन्स वेन इट विल बी हैपन वेन साइन ऑफ टू एक्स शुड बी वन एंड साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू वाई डिवाइडेड बाय साइन हाइपरबोलिक टू पाई शुड बी वन देन ओनली इट विल बी पॉसिबल नाउ दिस विल बी पॉसिबल वेन एक्स विल बी माई पाई ओवर फोर दिस विल बी पॉसिबल ओनली वेन ए वाई इज इक्वल टू पाई फाइन बट लुक एट दी ऑप्शन ही सेट ओपन इंटरवल पाई विच इज नॉट बिलोंग्स टू दी ओपन इंट बट हेयर इन दिस केस इज अ क्लोज इंटरवल सो इस दिस वैल्यू लाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू पाई फाइन ओपन इंटरवल बट Y is not belongs, so it means it can never be one. U is always strictly greater than one. Fine, so that's the minimum value. So you can see minimum value of this sine two x is my minus one. Fine, and once it this value will be minus one, then this value must be one. Fine, then only the product will be minus one. Fine. This value will be one only when y is equal to pi, but it is not belongs to the here. So that's why it's strictly greater than. It means the minimum value is equal to one is not possible. But again, it is said. So what does it means? It means u must be greater than of minus one. So that is the right answer. Can the minimum value is strictly greater than one? Not true because you can see it's a equality. Once you can take an as equality, then you will get the minimum of u is my minus one by using here x is my, uh, x is my you can take an as a value so that it becomes a minus one. This is my one, so it's a strictly greater than this option is cancelled. A and C is my right answer. Okay, look at this another one again the Laplace equation again you can see this is the Neumann. Criteria, so you can write in this table. Firstly, here, so what is that? X is one to two, so this is my one to two, and y is my one to two. So this is my diagram. Fine. This is A, B, C, D. Fine. Then look at that. This value is my. This is my y is equal to one. This is y is equal to two. This is x is equal to two. This is x is equal to one. So what is the value of this when y is equal to one? This is the value of y is equal to one. It is alpha x square over seven. Fine. B C. I can move on this side. B C x is equal to two. X is equal to two here. Y varies from this. This value is my five. C D y is equal to two. This is my y is equal to two. This value is my x. D A x is equal to one. X is equal to one here. This value is my one. Fine. Now once you can get this, what is the Neumann principle? You can integrate d a that is a y plus a b of alpha x square divided by seven. It should be equal to b c. What is the value of the b c? Is my five plus c d. What is the value of the c d? Is my x. Fine. That is the principle of the Neumann. Now you can see that. What is the integration of y is y square over two. What is the limit of that d a? What is the value? Is my lower limit is two, upper limit is one. What is the value of this integration of alpha x cube over twenty one? A b a b is my one to two. Fine. Which is equal to b c value one to two. It's a five of One to two plus x is my two to one x square over two from two to one. 
सो वट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस इज अ वन ओवर टू माइनस फोर ओवर टू प्लस एल्फा ओवर ट्वेंटी वन इज आउट साइड एट माइनस वन सेवन इज अ फाइव ऑफ टू माइनस वन इट इज वन बाई टू माइनस फोर ओवर टू सो यू कैन सी वन ओवर टू विल बी कैंसल फोर बाई टू इज कैंसल सो इट इज एल्फा ओवर थ्री इज माई फाइव एल्फा इज फिफ्टीन इज माई रिक्वायर्ड आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू हैव टू टेक द लिमिट पर्टिकुलर इट्स ए डी टू ए नॉट फ्रॉम द वन टू टू इट्स फ्रॉम टू टू वन सो दिस इज द केस कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस इज द केस कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू द राइट हैंड साइड दैट इज अ कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस डायंगल एंड दैट इज अ सिंपल वे यू कैन सॉल्व इट राइट आंसर इज माई फिफ्टीन इज द रिक्वायर्ड ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन द पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके इफ यू रिमेंबर what i gave you the tips in my ordinary differential equation whenever you have the solution whenever you have the differential equation of this is less than x of here as i told you what is the eigen value of this n pi over a whole square fine it is always strictly greater than 0 and it has countably many values lambda has so this y has solution for countably many values of lambda fine then what is the solution of this is it's a constant a sin n pi over a times x this is the shortcut to x as i give you in my ordinary differential equation lecture the same i can extend them to the partial differential if you look about that this is same of this if i consider this is only my one term fine if then it is a similar of this so what is the meaning of that this equation u x x u y y plus lambda of u is 0 has a solution of the nature n pi over a what is the a upper limit is 1 fine this is with respect to the x similarly i can consider with respect to y is say m The maximum value of the y is again here, and this value must be zero. And this now in this case is a u. U has solution for countably many values of lambda. Fine. And what is my solution? Solution is this is my a sine n pi x, and second is sine m pi y. Fine. Now you can see that. a unique solution is a wrong because for the different value of because it has a countably many values so you can never get a unique solution infinitely many solution for sum that's a wrong option a solution for the countably many values the right answer is the c is the right option for this problem okay look at this next one which of the following satisfy the laplace equation okay there are the two methods fine first one is in terms of the cartesian coordinate second in terms of the polar coordinate firstly i will solve you with the respect to the cartesian coordinate and then with respect to polar coordinate let's see first will be the solution when it satisfied this equation so what is the partial derivative with respect to x this plus 4xy is power cube and y is 6x square y square minus 5y of 4 so from here you can find the u x x is a 20 x cube plus 4 y cube and from here you can find u y y is 12 x square y and 20 y cube clearly says the sum of them is my non zero so first option is cancel fine this is a simple way look at the second option what is my u x is 2 x plus 2 y what is my uy uy is my 2x minus 2y then what is my uxx 2 what is my uyy minus 2 and you can see the sum will be my zero is the satisfied look at this one u of x is e raised to power x cos y plus cos x into e raised to power y what is the u of y Minus e raised to power x sine y and plus sine of x e raised to power 
y then what is my u x x i can differentiate this with respect to x is e raised to power x cos y minus sin x e raised to power y u y y is with respect to y is minus e raised to power x cos y is a y is a plus sin x e raised to power y and you can see the sum will be zero is also satisfied now look at the last option how you can find check whether this is the solution or not so i can return this is my 1 plus x over 1 plus 2x plus x square plus y square then you can find the is a u over v rule then you can find the u x x and then so on that is a very lengthy procedure then how you can find the solution of this i can use i can change into the polar form what is my polar form is okay how you can how you can change the cartesian coordinate laplace equation in the polar form so i can solve this portion when i will explain you the polar form in the next slide so i will come back on this example later now if you are if in some problem you are unable to solve the laplace equation in the cartesian form then you can easily convert into the polar form if you have the cartesian form of u x x plus u y y is equal to 0 you can change into the polar form like this nature fine where r is my less than of a a is my radius of the circle fine then what could be my solution the solution is very easy you can use the Fourier series a naught by 2 r over a raised to power n and this term and you all know once you know the Fourier series I can return this term is 0 to 2 pi f of x dx but here is f theta so I can return as a f theta and here fine and this is uh, what is the an is cos nx and this case remember if you are using here as a a naught only then you have to return this as a 2 pi but if you return this as a a naught by 2 then it's a 1 over pi solution now this is the case when r is lies inside this is the case of the interior circle if you have the case of the exterior circle then instead of this r over a you can write it as a over r while a n b n and a naught is computed by the same n if you have the polar form in the newman form like whenever the partial derivatives are given to be zero then the one way is you can write in the triangular form then you can write the solution corresponding to this as a zero otherwise you can solve by using here but this is a lengthy method i always suggested you you can solve this problem within the help of 15 seconds now i come back on this example same so i already proved these are my here can i change into the polar form so you can see once i change in the polar form the solution will be my here so i can write the solution u r r plus u r plus 1 over r square u of theta is my zero you can see this is my solution of the polar form now i can change this into firstly can i write this equation in this form fine so what is that i if i substitute this is my r sin theta and y is equal to my r cos theta so what will be my u u is my r okay i can take x to be the cos which we generally denoted and it should be the sign fine otherwise it's on your choice whether you can take an as a x as a sign or cos so it is a r cos divided by it's a r square common so cos square plus sine square is one fine now i can substitute here what is the first derivative of with respect to r minus one over r square cos theta what is the second derivative 2 over r cube cos theta what is that derivative with respect to theta is minus sine over r and what is the second derivative is minus cos theta over r now i can substitute here i can check whether it's satisfied or not u r r 2 over r cube cos theta 1 over r into u r minus cos theta over r cube 
वन ओवर आर स्केयर कॉस थीटा ओवर आर क्यूब एंड यू कैन सी इट इज अ जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट्स सेटिस्फाइड येस दिस इज ऑल्सो द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस हियर मोर ओवर यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दिस इन द पॉलर फॉर्म इफ आई चेंज फॉर दिस केस आई कैन चूज आर कोस वाई इज माई आर साइन देन वट इज माई सोल्यूशन इज इज ए आर स्केयर कॉस ऑफ टू थीटा बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंड दिस एंड प्लस आर स्केयर इज आउटसाइड इज ए साइन ऑफ टू थीटा देन अगेन इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हेयर अगेन इट विल बी सेटिस्फाइड नाउ लुक एट दिस सोल्यूशन अगेन दिस आर सोल्यूशन ऑफ द लैपलेस इक्वेशन बट दिस इन द पोलर फॉर्म और वेरी वेरी सिंपल टिप्स आई ऑलवेज गिव यू यू कैन कंपेयर दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ आर कोस थीटा आर साइन थीटा what is that what is the value of the r is 1 angle can be anything so it is my sin theta find 0 of pi clear then your solution in the polar form it will be a not over 2 r over a what is the radius is 1 raised to power n an cos theta Plus b n sine of n theta. There is no need to solve the problem. You can see what is the n. If you compare this sine theta with respect to here, your n will be one. Fine. So it means you definitely b n should be one. Fine. A n should be zero. And b n should be one only for b is equal to one. Your target is to find the u of zero comma zero. When x is my 0 y is 0 what is the r r is my 0 and theta is undefined so when r is 0 this whole term will be my 0 so your solution will be only a not over 2 and how you can find the a not a not is 1 over pi 0 to 2 pi that's over so what is the answer so i can change them to be here so it's a 0 to pi of sin theta Can you integrate this? It's a minus one over pi. It's a minus one minus one. So it's a two over pi. If we substitute here, right answer is one over pi is the right answer. This is the first time you may taken this is the lengthy procedure. But if you see the next couple of example, you can see the the way I can solve in a very quick manner. See, look at this one. Again, this is a Laplace equation, but this in the polar form. Fine. So. Which of the following will satisfy? So this means this is my u, this is my u, and here. So firstly, I can check about the initial condition e comma theta. This is my r, this is my theta. If this is a solution, if I substitute r is my e, so then the first solution is ln e over e. That is ln of one, which is zero. But he said one. Option cancel. Look at this one, ln. e over e square which is not equal to 1 it's a 1 over e 1 over e is 1 over e is my minus 1 but he said plus 1 this option is also cancelled when you substitute e it's a e square by e is a e it will one i can substitute here it's a e square log 1 0 is fine if i use this one it's a e minus e square e minus e square of sin And theta, so which is nothing but sine of and theta, which is not always one. So this option also cancel. So the remaining option is C is the right answer. Okay, look at this one. Now you can see that trick about that. You can see your solution will always in the form of here r over n. Sorry, r over radius summation a n. Cos. There is no need to write it, but uh, because I explain you, so that's why I have written here. Now you can compare them, because there is no need of the square. I can return this form of. Fine. So clearly say is my two. So n is my two. So I need only as a a two. I need only as a b two. Since there is no sign term, so b two will be zero. What is the coefficient of here? So this is my a. What is the radius is? Unit disc. 
so r is my a is my one fine it is clear now you can see what is the u of one comma theta if i open this value it's a a naught over two plus only for n is equal to two it's a r two but r is my one so if r is my one it's a one square a two cos two theta fine now you can compare this value with here what is my a zero a naught over two is my one fine and a two will be coefficient of the cos theta is my one so what is the right answer of this you can substitute this value here so this is one only for n is equal to two this is my a a is my one so it's a r square into cos this is my right answer of this problem that's the right answer of this problem look at this another one what is given to you again is a boundary value problem less a laplace equation again you can see is a neiman so what is the rule i have told you the integration of this fx must be a zero or a constant as i told you this value must be equal to this so it is always give the unique value and up to the constant so unique value and always consist as a constant Okay, let like u is the solution of this. X square is there. Now what is that? Again, is a very simple. Either you can change into the polar coordinates, or there is no need. You can see u vanish on the boundary. What does it means? U is equal to zero on boundary. X square plus y square is equal to one. Fine. So I can return the solution in terms of. So when I substitute here. It will be zero, so I can multiply this by k. Fine. Now, on the boundary, what is the boundary of this? How you can uh, you can found it on the boundary? So okay, fine. Now, what is the u x x? Two k x u y y. Sorry, x k plus y k. So two k y. I can substitute this value here. So it's a two k common. U X X sorry, it's a U X X is only two k, fine. Plus two k is my sixty four, so it's my four k is my sixty four, k is my sixteen. So what is the solution? This is the solution. Now your answer is one by four. It's a one over sixteen, one over two minus one. So it will be one. Plus eight minus sixteen nine minus sixteen minus seven is the right. Although there is no need to change into the polar form, but if you want to change, then it's on your wish. Okay. Now again, you can see this is not given in the form of the sine, so you are unable to write the solution in the form of the sine or sine hyperbole. You are unable to write. So what I can do is I can change into the polar form. What is the circle is radius is my two, so I can choose x is my two cos theta, y is my two sine theta. So this equation, this becomes my one plus two into four cos square. So it will be one plus eight cos square. I can change them again into one into four plus cos of two theta. So it will be five plus four cos of Two theta. Then again, you can compare this with the help of r over a. A is my two raised to power n. A n cos of n theta plus b n sine of n theta. Now you can see. So it's a cos. So that means a two will be my a two. That's a coefficient is my four. Fine, b n will be my zero, and n is my only two, and this five will be my a naught over two is my five. So I can substitute here. This is five. What is the n is my two? So it's a r square over four. A two is my four into cos of two theta. So this is my solution of here. So what is that? This is my five. 
प्लस आर स्क्वेयर कॉस ऑफ टू थीटा फाइन दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द यू आर कॉमा थीटा नाउ योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज एट जीरो कॉमा वन रिमेंबर दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द वाई बिकॉज सोल्यूशन इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो वेन एक्स इज गो टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू वन वट इज माई आर आर इज वन वट इज द थीटा इज टेन इनवर्स वाई ओवर एक्स सो टेन इनवर्स इन्फिनिटी पाई ओवर टू सो योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू एट वन एंड पाई ओवर सो वन वन कोस ऑफ इज अ माइनस वन सो द राइट आंसर इज फोर इज माई राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब ऑलवेज ट्राई टू राइट दिस सोल्यूशन इन द पोलर फॉर्म एंड कंपेयर दिस एंड इज माई टू इफ इट इज अ कोस देन यू कैन कंप्यूट द कॉफिशेंट इफ इज ए साइन देन इक्वेट द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ दिस साइन ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन अगेन दिस अ पोलर फॉर्म एंड यू आर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड ऑफ दिस नाउ यू कैन सी योर सोल्यूशन विल बी ऑफ ए नॉट ओवर टू समेशन आर रेडियस यू कैन सी इस रेडियस इज वन सो इस दिस इन टू ए एंड कोस बी एंड सी ओके वेरी फाइन सो देर इज नो नीड ऑफ दिस साइन ऑफ दिस इट मीन्स डेफिनेटली बी एन विल बी माई जीरो फर्स्टली आई कैन फाउंड दी ए नॉट वन ओवर पाई लिमिट इज फ्रॉम माइनस पाई टू पाई एफ थीट फाइन सो वट इज दैट इट्स वन ओवर पाई आई कैन ब्रेक दैम फ्रॉम माइनस पाई टू पाई एंड जीरो टू पाई so whenever it's a minus pi to pi it's my minus of theta and it is my plus theta so what is the right answer of this so it is my minus is outside theta square over 2 from minus pi to 0 and plus theta square over 2 from here so can you quickly do the calculation it's a 0 is a 0 it's a minus pi square over 2 it it is a minus 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 plus and it's a plus pi square over Two. So what is the answer? Is it's a pi square? It's a pi. Fine. So what is that? Its answer is pi over two plus something. So pi is a two over pi is a wrong option. Pi over two and here. Now look at the last options. Your target is to find the a n. So again a very simple one over pi zero to minus pi two pi of this into cos of And theta, fine. Now clearly says this function is my even function, so I can return this as a twice of this from zero to pi. Fine. Now how you can integrate that? There is no need to use the by parts. I can return this first function here, second function this. I can use the differentiation of this function until it becomes a zero, and integration of this function until it is corresponding to this. It's a sine. And theta over n minus cos and theta over n square. Then I can multiply this and this. That's the integration of this portion. What is that? Is a this sine n over n minus cos n over n square from zero to pi. So now you can see what is the right answer of this. When is the pi sine n pi? Sin n pi is always zero, so this value is my zero. Sin cos n pi, is, cos n pi is minus one raised to power n. Zero is a zero, minus cos zero is one over n square. So what is the right answer of this? Two over pi is outside, one minus of this. Fine. So you can check about the coefficient of this. What is a one plus? This option is cancelled. It's a minus one rest. If I take as a, it's a one minus. It's a one minus. Uh, both the options are correct. It's a two over pi, but it's a not a two over pi. So the right answer is my here. It's a minus sign here. So it may be something. Is there any uh, any error in the calculation? There is a negative sign appears. It's a zero one. See, it's a cos. It's a sign. Fine. Okay, sorry. It's a plus minus. Plus minus, it's a plus minus minus plus. Sorry, it's a plus and it's a minus. Fine. So this is the right answer of this problem. Okay, look at this one again. It's a again you are unable to write in terms of the sine and the sine hyperbolic. You can change into the polar form. It's a unit disk. 
x is 1 cos y is sin so your u will be 1 minus 2 sin square so what is that it is my cos of 2 theta fine now if i compare the solution it will be my a naught over 2 radius is 1 so r over 1 it's a n cos n theta plus b n sin n theta fine now clearly says n is my 2 coefficient of a2 is coefficient of this is my 1 what is my a0 there is no constant term there is no sign term so what is my solution a0 is 0 uh, n is my 2 so it is only r square a0 a2 is my 1 so it's a cos of 2 theta this is my solution in terms of r comma theta now since this is the value of the x this is the value of the y so what is the value of the r r is x square plus y square this is my half what is my theta is tan inverse 0 is my 0 so what is the value of the half comma 0 r is half 1 over 4 cos 0 cos 0 is my 1 so 1 over 4 is my right answer of this problem you can always compare the solution of this with the obtained one you can see n is my 2 so i can change this quickly to be here look at this one i can change this solution again this cos scares so i can return this is 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2 fine again you can see it's a cos 2 theta so n is my 2 a naught is my half a2 will be half rest are my 0 so what is my solution solution is a naught over 2 summation of n is my 2 so what is the radius is radius is my 2 so r over 2 square a2 cos 2 theta rest are my 0 so what is the a naught a a naught is my sorry a naught by 2 is my half okay this is my a naught by 2 constant term so a naught by 2 is my half plus r r will be r is r square over 4 is a 4 into 8 cos of 2 theta so this is my complete solution now you can see what they want so this is the value of r because in terms of the r and theta this is the r and theta now you can substitute the first value 1 pi over 2 1 over 2 1 over 8 cos pi cos pi is my minus it's a 1 over 8 u of 1 comma pi over 4 is a half r is my 1 is a 1 over 8 and pi over 4 is a cos pi over 2 cos pi over 2 is my 0 so it's a half then you have to add them so what is the answer of this it's a 1 minus 1 over 8 7 over 8 is my right answer of the you can see within a fraction of second you can solve this problem as here okay look at this another one is again a laplace equation in the polar form u is given to you as f of theta where f is a given function any given function sigma is a separation constant when appears by the using of the method of separable of variable fine okay so whenever you have the using the method of separable variable you have the concept of eigen values fine then the solution u to be the bounded and periodic in this is of the following cases okay now remember as i give you uh, earlier tips what is the eigen values of is always greater than zero fine now if you remember that we usually taken as a constant k in the separable of the variable method whenever k is zero for example fine or in this case if i consider the same case if sigma is my zero what does it means the solution will be constant always on the other hand sigma can never be less than zero fine another if you have a bounded solution 
because you need a bounded solution of the u then sigma can't be negative fine sigma can be zero fine but the solution is mean came remain a constant correct option sigma is always a positive and it must be of what is eigen values n pi over a square what is that upper value in upper value of this is a so this is always positive and it must be the integer what is the fundamental solution of this so what is the general solution of here summation radius is my a fine a n cos n plus b n sin n so can you write the fundamental solution that is my basic what is the basic is half and in, in this case is r is to power n cos n theta r is to power n sin n theta. these are my basis the basis means this is a fundamental set here is a half or is a one there is a same meaning so either you can write as a constant half one four anything are there so that is the so all are my correct options okay look at this another one again is a harmonic function del square u is my zero in the unit disk so x square plus y square is equal to one centered at origin takes the value so what is given to you unit disk is my sine of 2 theta on the boundary so boundary means r is 1 then which of the following is my solution check which of the following is not satisfied r is equal to 1 satisfied r is 1 satisfied satisfied all are satisfied now look at that again a very simple n in this case is 2 okay you can see your solution will be r over a radius is my 1 fine a n cos n theta b n sin n theta now this is the terms of the sign n is my 2 so what is the coefficient is b2 is my 1 because the coefficient is my 1 a n is my 0 so if i substitute this value here what is the a naught again there is no constant term it's a 0 so this value is my 0 and n is my only 2 fine so this value is my r square this value will be my 0 b n is my 1 so it is my sine of 2 theta so this is my solution of this problem so r square this is my right answer a is my right answer look at that how many seconds you are needed again i told you are uh, just 10 to 15 seconds you are needed to solve this problem okay look at this one more question again this is the partial differential equation given to you as a laplace and u is given to you as of this case fine now this is the cartesian form so it's a better i can change into the polar form so this means this is the u r r 1 over u r because whenever i i look about this term definitely is come to my mind is r square fine so it's 1 over r it's a 1 over r square u this way fine if i choose the value as r cos theta y is my r sin theta then your given function u is my f of r only r so what the, what is the value of this it is a zero because it is a independent of this is independent of theta fine now i can substitute here what is the second derivative of this f double dash plus one over r u r first derivative is my zero fine then your target is to find the u u means f how you can that's very simple this is my minus 1 over r fine if i integrate them it's f dash it's a log of f dash it's a minus log of r minus log of c so what does it means f dash is 1 over c r or c r 1 over c i can again consider as a another constant say a over r fine again because this f dash again you can integrate it so what is the f is a log of r plus b is my solution so that means f is my u so u is my a log of r plus b now look at the first option x square plus y square is r square that means you have to take on the limit as r approaches 0 because whenever x square plus y square 0 
r is 0. So what is the limit of this? Log of 0 is a infinity. So this is the infinity. Fine. Whenever x square plus y square is 0, he said u is 0. It's a wrong option. So b option is cancelled. c option. Limit r approaches infinity of u. So what is the log of infinity? So infinity plus some constant is my infinity. But he said again the option is second is a cancel. So right options are A and C are my right answers. So these are the way you can solve the problem in very simple manner. We will see the next lecture on the midquick space. Till then you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group. You can like, share and comment on my video. Share with your friends. Thank you very much. Happy learning all.